Well, that was fun, wasn't it? How about we take on another level? This guy! It's the Fire Lord, and he's got rad 80s hair. Brothers Flames. It's the hell out of me. Well, we start off with Top Down Fun. And you can't touch that gray shit, or you'll die. So you gotta fly along these little narrow canyons, just over lava, while watching out for lava things that are trying to grab you. They must have a pretty goddamn long reach to be able to grab the Silver Surfer. Either that, or he's flying pretty low. Or because this is a video game, you need an enemy to take the hit and attack you. Other than that, really, it's not hard if you have options. If you don't, well, you're kind of screwed because attacking diagonally is actually pretty damn great in this level. As you'll see right here. Look at that. I, 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 I can actually, you know, get those guys. I guess you could dodge them by waiting for them to sink down and then quickly darting over, but man, fuck that. I'd just rather, you know, Blast them. Sounds like a plan to me. Does it sound like a plan to you? Because it sounds like a plan to me. But at least they're giving us a bit of a wider berth now. And once you see this, you're done. There's no mini boss, it's just a bunch of hands. That's it. You should grab that one because it's an extra life. Oh boy. No mini boss, so that's section one of Fire Lord. Clear. Not bad. Maybe it'll get worse, I'm sure. You're 80s as hell. I like it. Back to side scrolling. And this one is kind of tricky. You've got little bits of fire spewing up from these volcanoes. You got fire that's gonna drip down from the ceiling. And pumpkins! Yeah, there are pumpkins in lava. Nah, I don't know. They're there to deal with it. The main thing for this level is you really just sort of, you don't want to stay all the way back. You want to get in kind of close so you can actually kill whatever's coming at you. And take the bottom route here because otherwise you got to deal with pumpkins and dodging fire in close proximity. It's tough. Got an option if you need it, and hang back, because the uh, fire's gonna fall on ya. Speaking of falling fire, well, isn't this just a lovely gimmick? Now it's dripping from the mouths of these skull demons. I guess. More pumpkins trying to sneak up on me. Oh, I hate this part. You just gotta gun it when the time is right, and how do you know? You, you just have to know. Like, you just have to have good timing on that part of Zal. You just gotta sort of look into your mind's eye or whatever. I guess it's easy for me because I'm a hard game beater. No, that's a lie. It's not easy. I don't like it at all. It sucks. This is the final section once you get to these big houses the lava. Look, let, let's just cut the crap here and say that I have no goddamn idea what's happening in this game visually. It's just houses in lava with pumpkins and pots and drippy things that you can kill. I, I don't understand it. It's just shit for you to kill and shit that attempts to kill you. It's a shmup. I, I've seen weird shmups. Don't ever play Parodius, because that's, that's really weird. This is not as weird as Parodius. It's, a uh, I don't know if it's harder than Parodius or not. It's a kind of fucking time. It's Parodius, let me tell you. Oh, we got a pumpkin mini boss, and these, not hard, just... I'm a little scared of the weaving pumpkins up there, so I'm not really hitting him. But, there we go, that's fine. He's done! Only one more section left, if you'll remember. Reptiles. Did we, did we say we were going to call them reptile or reptile? I don't know. 
That guy's third section was kind of a pain because of all the enemies flying at you. This one is also a little bit of a pain. The fire is moving rather erratically, but it's nothing you can't handle if you just keep shooting. And it's mercifully short as well. Though there is this section where they just stop you and you have to shoot for a while. Eventually this fire will wear off and starts throwing less shit at you and then you can move on. I don't know. Whatever. And now it's time to fight Firelord. And that was fighting Firelord. Went down like a fucking chump. Holy shit. Anyway, fight and surrender. A part of it anyway. God, that's a fucking pose. Get that get that off my fucking screen right now. Get me that back, Fire Lord. Well, that didn't take so long, so uh why don't we go after the next level, this Bret Hart looking motherfucker in space. Any day now. Possessa <laughs> oh, like it. And besides, Possessor's first level is a, a little tricky. If you don't know how to use your options, right? You've got this sort of Greco Roman thing going on with pillars and statues and busts and shit. Nothing hard so far, but it ramps things up really quick. For these things, Skulls up, and if the skulls hit the ceiling, they break into two shots. But if you have an option, you can just sort of change it, fire down, and blow them up. And even if you don't have an option, you can just get one right here and do the exact same thing I just mentioned. So, realistically, you should be fine if you know how to use your options. And that's sort of the key to being this game: is knowing when to use your options and where. It is. It's part of a larger scheme, which is learn the ever-loving fuck out of this game. Know where everything is going to be, and know to shoot the shit out of it before it comes and flies in your face and kills you. That's Silver Surfer for ya. There's no mercy in this dojo. I kinda like it better than this dojo. But whatever. I like your... Roman temple in space possessor. I don't know if it's yours or not, but... Oh, well! I really don't know if these pillars are supposed to be a pillar. These guys are not. That's going to take a lot of hits, so they're going to do their damage. You can see from that what happens if you leave enemies alive for too long. They start weaving around in patterns that would make a Toho bullet spread blush. Wild! Anyway, that's it for Possessor Section 1. We've got a mini boss. It's nothing too bad. It's a floating head and face. Oh, that's Section 1 of Possessor. What does he possess? Probably fuck the fire. He doesn't possess a good level, that's for sure. Why do I get a bread card? Down. Oh, this level is kind of tough. Again, with the, you need to know where to go and what to do. I like to go over here. Now, those big stone slabs will kill you. A good litmus test to tell if something will kill you in this game or not is, can you shoot through it? If you can, congratulations, you can fly right through it. If your shots stop on it, then you better avoid the hell out of it because it's going to kill you. Eyes. Like you can see, see? Look at that. These rails. I thought they killed you for the longest time, but when I realized I could shoot through them, you can move through You can move and this level is all about it. It's sort of kinda of reminds me of Gradius with his high speed chases and weaving and shit, but it's a lot more tight. That's a really tight maneuver I just did there, getting into this little thing. Cause the space is just big enough for your fucking gigantic 
Space surfboard. It's kind of risky to get that. I've died trying to get it, and I don't need it, so... the hell with it. These guys aren't so tough. They're situated directly in front of you, so they're a dead zone. If they stand there and you're shooting, they are simply dead. Turrets. Nothing bad about the least. So it's gotta be careful above this master turf. And now we enter the gladiator arena. Blast that thing and fly on through. The little gate shuts. I don't even know if that's supposed to kill you or not. Maybe if you hang back. Maybe, but you're not supposed to hang back in this game. You're supposed to get in there and shoot shit. I like saying. I really like saying. All right, possessor section three. Is, uh, interesting. Look at all these bomb statues. I don't know. We got some basic ways of these kind of us. And we're well on our way to fight Possessor himself, I guess. He's a... I don't know, it's like... The statue is thinking to kill, but that looks like Possessor behind him. He's got the white hair and the beard. Sunglasses blindfold thing, but when you kill this staff wielding guy, that's it. Possessor's done. If you don't shoot that thing, I guess he was possessing a big Amazon. I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? Get this get this out of my face. I got another widget from my device. The cosmic magic machine. Alright, well, another time we're gonna take on this green guy with a beard. So uh Look forward to that.